Hello everyone, Torx here. Ever since I made a couple of videos on installing RAM, I've frequently been getting a handful of questions regarding the process. So in this video, I'll try to clear up any confusion you may have as quickly as possible. So let's get this started. First question, probably the most common one. Can I simultaneously install different kinds of RAM in my motherboard? For example, an eight gigabyte module along with a four gigabyte module. The answer is yes, you can, can with quotes, but overall your RAM won't run at its full potential if you do this. By default, your system will bottleneck the performance of all your memory modules by whichever one is the smallest, slowest, ugliest, stupidest, worst. For example, if you have an eight gigabyte and a four gigabyte module running in dual channel mode, only four gigabyte of the 8 gigabyte module will run with dual channel speed. The remaining 4 gigabytes will run in single channel speed. In another scenario, if you have a module running at 2400 megahertz and another that's supposed to be running at 3200 megahertz, both RAM cards will run at 2400 megahertz. If you have multiple RAM cards with different timings, yeah, you can understand where I'm going with this. Basically, yes, you can install different kinds of RAM into the system, but you won't get optimum performance if you do so. If you have an extra RAM stick lying around and it's compatible with your motherboard, you can throw it in there if you want. More RAM overall is better, but your system may not run as fast as it could. And here's where things get a little tricky. Companies may manufacture their RAM in ever so slightly different ways, so if you mix and match different brands of RAM, even if they have the same specifications, they may not communicate well with each other. To put it in short, yes, you can use different kinds of RAM, it won't hurt anything, but it's always, always, always recommended to get the exact same make and model when installing multiple modules. All right, question the second. If having two RAM models installed makes them run in dual channel mode, what will happen if I add in another and have three RAM modules installed? Well, I already answered this in my dual channel video, but I'll answer it again. Having an odd number of RAM modules in your system will have their speed default to single channel mode. So while having two or four modules will allow your system to run in dual channel mode, having one or three will make it default back to single channel. Is three RAM cards with single channel mode worse than two cards of dual channel? This is not an easy question to answer because there's a lot of variables. Having more RAM is better, but only to a point. It depends on what you're doing, what kinds of games you're playing, what programs you're running, etc. But let me try to help you out. Let's say your primary use of your PC is gaming. If this is the case, I can't imagine a game in 2021 that requires over 16 gigabytes of RAM, so it would probably be best to have two modules of eight gigabytes running in dual channel mode instead of three modules adding up to 24 gigabytes running in single channel mode. This is because in this situation, those extra eight gigabytes are redundant. You're not going to need them, so having the faster RAM makes more sense. You'll likely get a slight FPS boost. However, if you're using a very memory intense program, such as video or photo editing software, your system may slow down as it gradually makes its way to your memory capacity. In this case, having the extra RAM may speed up your computer more than having the dual channel RAM. So there you have it. Having more RAM or faster RAM is really just up to what you're doing with the computer. If you can afford it, I just say get the best of both worlds. Fill up all the slots. Although that's kind of... You probably already thought of doing that. and You couldn't, and that's why you're watching this video. So it makes absolutely no sense for me to even bring that up. I apologize. Frequently asked question the third. Do I need to install any drivers or do anything in the BIOS before and or after installing the RAM? The answer is no. There's nothing you need to do. RAM is entirely plug and play. So long as it's compatible with your motherboard, just physically clicking them into place is all you need to do. Here's another one. How do I tell if my RAM is running in dual or single channel mode? One of the easiest ways to find this out is to simply download and run the program Specky. This is my go-to. It's entirely free. It's small, simple, to the point, and I believe a lot more user-friendly than its competitors. You'll see what mode it is detecting your RAM to be running at. There's other programs like CPU-Z that can do this too. All right, one more question. What if my motherboard only has two slots of RAM? Will it run in dual channel mode if I fill both of them up? The short answer is, if the motherboard was made in the last decade or so, yes, simply occupying both slots with RAM will have your system run in dual channel mode. There's nothing else you need to do. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope that cleared things up. Subscribe for more PC and techie how-to videos. And if you still have unanswered questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Torx out. Really, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. That's it. Screw this. Freaking camera.